It's just before 9 a.m., which means for people parked along this street in downtown LA, it's time to move your car for street cleaning. Signs like these are posted on almost 7,000 miles of LA streets, where cars are prohibited from parking for two hours every week, and where the parking enforcement team issues violators $60 ticket after $60 ticket, almost like it's a business. We're there to provide a service to assist street services, and in turn, that just generates revenue. Kimmy Porter represents the Department of Transportation. The purpose of posting of the signs is so the street services and street maids can go out and do the work and streets and, and clean the streets. But ticketing is a huge source of income. The city made $134 million last year from parking tickets. That's almost 15 grand every hour of the day for a year. And officials told me most of that money comes in on street sweeping days. But many streets with posted signs aren't being swept at all, including 24th Street, which is littered with all kinds of dirt and trash and where Officer Smith was printing up a ticket. Are they are they sweeping today, do you know? They're supposed to. If they're not, then there's an issue with them. They should be, part, they should be doing it everywhere. He assured me that the street sweeper would be right over. As a matter of fact, I did see him over on the other side. He should be here in about maybe 30 minutes or so. But he didn't come in 30 minutes, or in 45 minutes, or any time within the posted hours. Posted routes are done once a week. John Saponi manages LA's entire street maintenance division. The first two days, I, I didn't see a sweeper go by at all during that time. <clears throat> well... Uh, we have equipment breakdowns, uh, lack of personnel, uh, any variety of reasons. But it turns out that some trucks are skipping out on a regular basis. And city law fails to mention whether ticketing is even legal when there's no sweeping, much less whether it's ethical. I asked officials about it. If in fact, for whatever reason, we miss a route, like I explained before, we notified DOT to relax enforcement. Along with the filthy 24th Street, the city didn't sweep a number of other streets, including 23rd Street, near Budlong Street, and 36th Place. In fact, of nine downtown streets monitored over two months, only six of them were swept weekly. Yet parking enforcement issued dozens of $60 tickets. They gave you a ticket, but they didn't sweep the streets at all. That sucks, man. I'm really frustrated. Daniel Groot watched the video footage proving he was ticketed for nothing. It comes. They have, they have the manpower to ticket you, right? But they don't have the manpower to actually do the job. Wow. No, if, it's not, if sweet sweeping is not being done, they shouldn't be ticketed. I agree with you on that. But there's more. Along Raymond Avenue, a parking enforcement vehicle is caught on camera parked for a full hour between the illegal hours of noon to two. Watch as another officer ignores the violation altogether three separate times. But I'm not going to cite my own person for being parked in the street in the street. Even though that's illegal? Well, I'm, I'm not going to cite my own person for being parked in the street. In the Officer Cole told me she never tickets emergency vehicles. Right. Okay, if LAPD were parked there, would you want me to write LAPD or a fire truck? Well, at what there? emergency could there be? It's parking okay. enforcement. So like I said, once again, I don't know why. That vehicle was parked. There. I don't know if that person was gone on a traffic control call. I don't know. So what? I can't speak for why that car was parked there. Porter assured me parking enforcement is doing its best to improve service. On a very lowest level, lowest bar, back up the fines with some actual street sweeping. But that won't fix the tickets of many people like Daniel. I got ticketed and I deserved it because I'm in the way of the street sweeping vehicle. But if they are having a system that fines us but isn't following up on why they're finding us, that's a broken system. In downtown Los Angeles, I'm Matt Schrader.